They've added Damascus to Modern Warfare 2, but how do you unlock it? By either getting a job at Arby's or getting mommy and daddy's credit card. Because the only way you can get it is if you purchase the Damascus Forge 2 bundle. Now this is going to cost you 1600 COD points or around $16. So we're going to be taking a look at this bundle, seeing what comes in it. We're going to be looking at how it looks in game, how it looks with some camos and how it performs. And I'll give you my overall thoughts on the bundle. So to start us off here, we have two weapons in this pack, the Chimera Assault Rifle and the P890 Pistol. Now overall, I'm first glance this looks pretty good i feel like this pays homage to the modern for 2019 mastery camo damascus pretty well and it adds a little bit of a new flare over here near the barrel kind of giving it like a flame type look but overall looks pretty decent uh we can see that it has a hollow sight on it and a laser but let's look at the actual attachments on it so this comes with a 10 inch sa phoenix barrel the, the schlager ulo 66 laser why don't we make these a little easier to pronounce god huh why don't we try that out? We have the SZ Lone Wolf Optic, the Ravage 8 Stock, the Bruin GR500 Grip, and of course with the Chimera Receiver. Now it says this is tuned for precision sight picture, aiming idle stability, and aim walking steadiness. So this is probably not going to be the fastest weapon out there, but I'm assuming this is going to be pretty accurate and have some pretty good recoil control. And then here with our P890, this also looks pretty good, pays homage to Damascus quite well. And let's see what attachments this has on it. It has the X10 Harbinger Barrel, the S SC Mini Tech 40 Optic, the Bruin MG80 Trigger, 10 round mag, of course the P890 receiver, and the FJX DVF60 Grip. Jeez. Any more letters and numbers you want to throw in there? So let's take a look at the extras that we have in this bundle. And here we have a torch steel tank skin. Now, I don't think I've ever used a tank in this game before in my life, but if I do, it's going to look iced out. Not too bad of a look. It does have that Damascus pattern on it. It kind of looks more like Atomic to me, at least on these little tread or the areas above the tread here. Then we have this weapon charm here that says Damascus Forge in, I think that's a two or just a blank open spot. Not too sure. Could look decent on the weapon, so I'll save my judgment. We also have the Damascus Knight sticker. Haven't used too many stickers in this game, but hopefully this looks decent on the weapon. And we have another sticker right here for the Dan Helm. Looks pretty decent. And the Angry Forge emblem which looks all right. So let's go ahead, grab this bundle, and then we can check out everything in detail. Let's confirm our purchase. Here is what our Chimera looks like in the gunsmith. Here is all of our weapon modifications here in stats, just in case you're curious. And let's go ahead and take a quick little peek on what this looks like with some camos on it. Because from what I've seen in this game, the blueprints kind of hold more of the camo than just the default weapons do. It tends to come out a little less scratched than some other weapons. So let's take a quick peek at the mastery camos really quick, and then we'll hop in game and inspect it there. But I just want to take, you know, just a, a little tease at them. So this is what gold looks like on it. Basically unrecognizable. You can't really even see the Damascus on there. If we look a little closer, let's preview our weapon. Uh, you can kind of see the little ripple patterns on here, but it's basically just a gold weapon. Nothing much changed. And I'm assuming it's the same thing for platinum here. Eh, it basically is. You can see a little bit of like the, the gold here on the mag, but not a whole lot's changed. And then polyatomic basically looks the same. Just that little sticker holding out there on the mag and the rest of it. Basically just what it would look like polyatomic. And the one I really want to see is Orion. Eh, I don't know if this, <laughs> I don't think this changes very much with uh, mastery camos on it. But let's see how it changes with a little bit of our, our non-mastery camos. Let's try to find some good ones here. Ones I really like to try out on these are the solid colors. Let's try a little orange. Okay, just all orange. Is it going to be like this for all of them? I think so. I guess you can see a little bit of the pattern there on the optic. Let's take another peek at it. Oh, yeah. I guess, I mean, it looks pretty good with some other camos on it. It replaces the primary color on the weapons pretty well. So if you want a nice looking Chimera... This might be for you. Oh, and I, I guess for some of these, it replaces the secondary pattern. So we change out our optic, our grip and everything and keep that Damascus look. There's got to be a good looking skin for this. So I'm going to scroll through these and see if we can find anything that looks good as a secondary color on this blueprint. Maybe this is a little decent, but not too crazy. The sunset camo is just like, it may be a little bit good just on the top of the optic there, but I don't know. I don't think this plays nice with a whole lot of skins. Um, dark Violet looks all right on it. It definitely makes the handle look a little better, but the mag and the scope, not really. Any of the tigers look good on this? Dang, this is a little disappointing. And it looks like the secondary color is pretty scratched up too. The primary stays completely like fine. 
flawless no scratches at all secondary not the greatest and not a whole lot of combinations that go well with it maybe it's a different story for the pistol let's take a quick peek at that this is gold platinum polyatomic and orion basically the same story here it looks like oh okay but for this one on the secondary color it replaces the color underneath of damascus so that pattern goes over it so let me go ahead and fly through these and i'll see if i can find any good combinations the sand camo here that actually comes with the p890 one of the challenges you have to do for it looks pretty good because you can still see the damascus pattern over it while keeping the whole black like secondary color on it that matte black that looks nice the petri digital looks pretty cool too a little wild but i kind of like it same with the chemist digital it's a little crazy a little out there but it kind of works neon pink's all right coral reef looks okay rainbow tiger is <laughs> kind of crazy okay so the sand camo looks really good on it and i'm assuming the rest of these salad colors look pretty good on it and they do this replaces very nicely on there i like that a lot let's take a quick look at the azul camo okay no that's not azul thanks game that's nice. I like that it keeps the pattern. This is actually a pretty decent blueprint for the P890 if it can replace like this. That's pretty good. And that's about it. So let's go ahead, hop in game, take a peek at the blueprint, just normal. I'll show it with the mastery camos and then some other camos I think look decent on it. And then we'll go ahead, hop in game and see how the actual weapons do. Also, totally didn't forget to show the stickers while I was recording and remembered while I was editing. That definitely did not happen. But uh, this is what the first sticker looks like in all three placements. Let me give it a quick preview preview they look all right i mean nothing too crazy nothing insane but the large decal that comes with it this right here looks amazing let's give a quick preview on that like that just looks so good the large decals in this game are a nice feature i don't know if it matches too well with the actual damascus skin but it does look pretty good and then this is what the emblem will look like equipped onto a calling card a pretty standard emblem just like slight animation to it you guys know the deal and then this is basically the most preview you get of the tank i don't think there's really any game modes where i could just spawn one in or hop right into it without playing a whole game but it's there it's extra. All right, this is a quick look at the bundle in game. This is it with no camos applied to it. And it actually looks really good. Very, very reminiscent of Damascus. And I think it does it justice. This looks great. I like the little flame tip at the end. Let's take a quick peek at the secondary. Also very nice. I did this bundle well uh, in terms of the, the texture of Damascus. I'm sure it's just ported over from Armor for 2019, but looks pretty good. Nice to see it again. Here it is with gold on it. You can see just a little bit of that Damascus texture, but the gold kind of washes it out for the most part. Uh, you, you couldn't really tell there's a blueprint on this if you were just to glance at it. You have to really look. And then the pistol. Eh, you can see it on the optic, but not much else. Here is platinum. Not a whole lot going on here. Again, can't really tell it's a bundle. Uh, the only thing that really changes is that sticker. And you can't even really see it when you inspect it. You can just kind of take a quick look at it before your thumb covers it up. And the pistol as well. Here's polyatomic. Uh, polyatomic's texture kind of takes over here. You can see a little bit of the lines underneath. Not a whole lot though. It's mainly mostly prevalent on the, on the optic. Thick. can't really see it too much on here and the pistol basically the same thing here's orion on it can't really tell basically at all that it's on there basically the same thing with all these masteries looks pretty cool though but that's mainly just because orion looks cool and it's the same thing with the pistol here's what solid color camos look like on it pretty clean honestly this you can see the texture a little bit better since it's not so overwhelmed by it still a little difficult to see but the solid texture or the solid color camo on the primary texture looks really good it looks clean on this and here's it with the pistol you can definitely see the texture a lot better on this very nice brings the the solid color camos back to life a little bit after that nerf and a little honorary mention here's the charcoal camo on it this one you can see the texture a little bit better on it at least on the optic but looks really good very clean only the the little accents are like silvered out on it and i think this looks really good looks like a, a night ops weapon something you'd use in a, a stealthy situation of course without the suppressor and then here's the pistol with the chemist something chemist react camo i thought it looked a little crazy in the gunsmith still looks a little crazy here but it almost works it gives like uh poison dart frog vibes now that we've seen what these weapons look like with and without camos we're gonna go ahead hop into a game of shoe house i'm gonna give each weapon one game each and we'll see how they perform all right so our first game here i'm gonna be using the chimera and i am no means the best player in the world at this game so take this gameplay with a grain of salt Okay, we got our first kill with it. Seem 
All right, didn't look like that guy was damaged. We got to do the full 100% of his health to it, and it killed pretty decently fast. Don't know if that's the time to kill in this game or if this gun's decent, but nice headshot multiplier there. And honestly, the, the tracers look pretty cool too. Almost forgot to look at those. So let's take a quick peek at that. Oh, it's like fireworks. And it leaves a nice little pink burn on the wall. But I usually don't use optics on a lot of my weapons. I go iron sight, but this optic, I don't mind. It looks pretty decent. Oh, that was the sloppiest double I've ever seen in my life. A post from the one that your mother gave me. Ooh, and a nice little throwing knife to top it off. I gotta stop making head references. Oh my god, and I get a headshot. I, I can't help it. Even the game wants me to do it. You know what? I like this gun. A little low on ammo, though. And I'm dead, so I guess it don't matter. Can't take it with me. Okay, I've been kind of taking like mid to close range engagements. I'm gonna try to stay back for a little bit. See if I can get any decent shots from long range. Yeah, I'm pretty sure somebody's up in the window over here. Let's see if we can get some shots on him. We got a few shots, but did not kill very fast. And I got outshot by a Val 46 here. Okay, that time it worked. Hey, okay, all right. So I guess it is pretty decent long range. Maybe I just need to get the first shot. Might take a, a little more shots than I would like. I, I think if it was tuned more to be long range or damage range on it, might be a little better. So when you get this, it comes pro tuned, whatever the hell that means. It's kind of like they're set tuning for it. I don't even know if it's actually tuned because you can't even check how it is. It just says it's tuned. But when you get this, you can go ahead and adjust that to whatever you're trying to get done with it. You can change it to like fast ADS speed. You can change it to damage range. You can kind of try to fit it to however you want to play with it. Now, I want to get up close to somebody and see how the hip fire does. We haven't really tested that out yet. Oh, perfect. Come here. Semi-accurate while sprinting. Not the most accurate, but we also did not get the kill. The vehicle control on this is pretty good though. I'll give it that. Not very difficult to control it. Here's some hip fire. Eh, not the most accurate. Could be better. Oh, I missed every shot with the gun, but hit the throwing knife. Lick balls, buddy. And that ends our game with the Chimera. We had 29 kills with it. Not awful, not the greatest, but that's what NPC gameplay will get you. All right, we went 29 and 30 with it. Basically went even, but overall, yeah, decent build. It's all right. You, you could tweak some things, make it better, but not the worst. All right, let's start off our game with the P890 here. See how this does against some actual players. Okay, my aim needs to loosen up a little bit. I'm pretty sure this is built for damage range and recoil control. Probably not crazy recoil on the PA-90 to begin with, so a little suspect tuning. Damage range could be helpful, and it looks like it kills in only a few shots, so that's not bad. Ooh, outlived that gunfight. That guy either sucks or we got lucky, or both. Let's see how it does against some people that aren't looking. Okay, pretty decent. And it looks like it's a two-shot headshot for whatever reason. Now, this is tuned for long range, but I don't really think this optic does long range justice. It don't really look like I can see too far with it. It's like a one-times magnification. Well, let's try to get some long range kills with this. Okay, a, a few shots there. At least it's a little accurate at range. Doesn't look like it, it'll kill reliably, though. What about right here? I know you want to repeat that, buddy. Okay, you didn't quite get it. Okay, up close and personal. Pretty decent. So far, it seems like the pistol is overall a worse weapon, obviously, it being a secondary and all. But it definitely looks better with a whole lot of camos. And it feels like they could have picked literally anything else to tune this with. Because recoil control in long range isn't two things I think need to be addressed when making a pistol. Normally, it's more about, like, speed, accuracy, and damage. And it, it seems like it's comes at a cost to what this weapon is trying to make. Damn. See, like, these pistols right here, this guy just spawned in. We both had full health. I got two shots in, and he got 85 into me. I look like Swiss cheese before I could even pull the trigger four times. So it looks like it definitely gets outclassed by a whole lot of other pistols. Basically outclassed by every other weapon in this game. This thing is just here to look cool. So I don't know who's doing all these pro tunings, but it don't seem very professional. Ooh, barely survived that. It seems like every gunfight I'm in, if I'm getting the first shot, it's still like fighting for my life. I'm gonna survive with like one HP type beat. Like right 
there. <laughs> that one was more accuracy based than me just missing every shot, but I think the point still stands. Dang. At range, it does not do a whole lot of damage at all. So I don't see the point in making this for damage range. This is like tuning a spoon to cut things very well. It don't make any sense. Oh, I almost came getting a kill longer than two feet away. And then that's the game. There's my dumb ass getting gunned down. Ooh, literally in one shot. No time to react. But we went 25 and 27. Two kills under even. Eh, it was all right. I guess probably less than good, but overall view of the bundle uh, for the P890 in the Chimera, just looking at how they look aesthetically, I give it an eight out of 10. They look pretty decent, work pretty well with some camos, not so great with some others, but you know, they, they look good. It, they look good for what you get. In terms of how they perform for the Chimera, I give it like a six out of 10. It's decent. Uh, you can definitely build it way better than that but it's not the worst I've ever seen. And for the P890, I give it about like a three out of 10. Uh, definitely way better ways you can build it. Way better pistols out there. Uh, you're not gonna be winning too many gunfights with it, but it looks pretty cool. So overall, should you get this bundle? Man, I don't know. Spend your money how you wanna spend your money. If you liked how it looked and how I perform with it in this game, go ahead and pick it up. If not, I mean, whatever. I'm not one to pick up too many bundles. I just think the mask is cool. Has a lot of sentimental value to me. So I went and had it grabbed it. Uh, if you think so as well, you can go ahead and pick it up or not. Don't care. But uh, thank you for rocking with me for this video. I really appreciate it. All your guys' support and just being here means the world to me. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.